Okay, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if we can make it look good. I'm wondering how big we're gonna make it. We're gonna leave it on a hundred and gonna add a background color. It's either gonna be blue or cyan. Cyan and just gonna add more contrast. Lessen up the copy density. We'll just see how we go with this. Let's see if we can make this look good as it is. What is it we got here? It's called Spur. I think it's called Spur. It's a Japanese, looks like a Japanese uh, gossip magazine. This is the, the back of it, even though the library's put that on the back. That's handy because I think that's really the front page. And I think the Japanese read in reverse, which is why it's like that. So we're just going to put this on the glass, especially her face, and we're going to slide it. So this is a, looks like a Japanese uh, gossip magazine by the looks of things. Okay, let's see how that went. Stabilizing image, please wait. Typical Konica Minolta, which is Japanese. <laughs> let's see how we go with this. All right, let's see how that goes. Well, that looks interesting. You can't see much of the background color, except on her teeth, just there and, yeah, that's mainly where it went, on the teeth. So we've given her a bit of, but it's a nice picture that we've made. Now we can't throw this on the recycle pile or give it away, this is a library book. So we're just gonna return it to the library soon. And let's see what we're gonna do with this sort of regret putting in the background colour in a way, but maybe it's not such a bad thing. Uh, we're just going to remove it now. And we're going to maybe take out some, take out the contrast and maybe, maybe we're going to leave it light. So let's see what we can do with this. And I think the centre of this job is almost certainly going to be here it's going to be there to make this interesting uh magazine i'm actually thinking i'm going to have to enlarge this slightly so but that's a really nice um image we've made and we're just gonna line these up line up these just overlapping it slightly let's see how we go with that and we're just going to go here gonna make it 104 by 104. All right, that's the first one out. Whoa, that looks a bit hot looks a bit hot for my liking uh, but it makes that look sort of iridescent so I'm wondering what we're going to do if we're going to lighten it so we're going to see what we're going to do going to lighten it off and we're just going to add some more lightness to that Alright, let's see how that goes. Yeah, that looks a lot fresher. So that's our first piece and we still got the uh, cyan on the teeth. So the teeth look a bit funny. <laughs> but, you know, it's a bit of fun. 
Oh, actually, we're going to put that as the centre of our job. We nearly forgot. All right, out it comes. So let's see how that looks as the two images get put together in the opposing corners. So we just line that up. Oops, we just nudged it, sorry. There, and we're just gonna put in another two, which will be in mirror form. So let's see how we go with the mirror. All right, out it comes. Now it's time to line up the pieces. So we're just gonna line these up. So we're just lining up the pieces. Now that looks interesting. I think now we can call this demo quits.